Hmm, yes, yes. Make one province. Okay, yes. Production right. efficiency. Carry that plus over. 77 produce. Efficient of the goods produced. Uh, good cash money, plus 30 money, money cash. Cash. We multiply we this one, number eight, two, by five, the number that we six, get for the other you number. How can we minimize your yes, cost? We look at the price of then Bitcoin. We, uh, of course, and yes, that. we do. This, and this and that. Okay. You take a three, you multiply it by one point value. Three. Oh, so what you're telling me is all I have to do is buy a broker's exchange in every trade company state, and I'll be really rich. Okay. What's up gamers, it's me Absolute Habibi bringing in the last part of our Persia campaign where we were going for multiple Persia uh, achievements. In this one we're go finishing off with This is Persia, where we have to conquer all of Anatolia, Greece, and uh, Egypt as cores. Right now, we're focusing a little bit on money, but I think that we have it on lock. Now that we essentially print money, I think it's time we focus on more external matters. And by external matters, I mean Bengal needs to die. Why build a flagship when you can just steal one instead? So we took care of our external problem. And uh, yeah, uh, we connected our Chinese land to our Indian land in many ways. Uh, finally, we don't have to go over the entire central asia just to get to our chinese lands but i think it's time since we do have truces in this area i think it's time that we begin our move west i think it's time we start trying to actually get this achievement declare war on musasha with that out of the way it's now time to set up our forts to fight the ottomans um we already have a couple forts here level two right here we'll upgrade it to level eight we have a level 8 fort here, a level 6 fort here, a level 6 fort here. So we'll upgrade one of these to level 8. And we will also build a fresh level 8 fort right here. Our line of forts has been set to declare the war. We'll, co we'll call in Austria and we'll co-belligerent Kara Kalunyu. And of course we're going to do Imperialism CB. And let's get it. We're going to let the Ottomans move into our territory first. As you can see, Kars, it's a level 2 fort, but it's mountain, so we gotta be careful here. Uh, we also, we can also push through Karakal Union since this is only Highlands. But I'm gonna wait for the AI to make the first move, as they should, and we will engage on that. There we go. We trapped him in. You have nowhere to go, sir. We got him. Send a reinforcement stack just so we don't take any damage on our arts. Uh, and we wipe them. They're trying to siege back this area. I'm surprised that they're trying to they're engaging me down here in their own territory. Fighting on flat land. This lets me this will give me the ability to get a sneaky army. Oh that guy has no siege. Let's get someone with really good siege. Okay, we have this guy right here with three siege. This guy with four maneuv maneuverability. We'll take that guy. And we'll move all the way around here and get to Constantinople. Meanwhile, over here, I think we're going to engage on this fort. Hopefully, he doesn't unsiege it. There we go. We'll engage two battles at the same time. This should be a stack wipe on this province right here. Stack wipe. Uh, we weren't moved fast enough to get another stack wipe, but that's fine. They engaged me right on the moment that I got the siege. I think this might be a stack wipe. Another stack wipe in the books. And we can fully annex QQ. And we got stack wiped on the European side with our uh, sneaky stack. Um... That's all good though. We just made another death stack right here back in the homeland with a new general, a six maneuver, sh six shock 
for fire general. Full back row of artillery. We're gonna just march these guy bad boys right into there. I you done fricked up, boy. They're dead? Yeah. Another stack wipe. It's our death stack's first battle. Uh, it's looking okay, but I think they're gonna need reinforcements. Let's see. He doesn't have a full back row of cannons. He's gonna bring in no cannons. Okay, so all we have to do is reinforce with half of these guys first. Uh, put them on force march. And then reinforce with these guys. Maybe reinforce a little too early. Ooh, what a close battle. Another ba a big battle. Let's go. Ooh. We're pushing them back. We're pushing the Ottomans back. Ottomans are just wiping their entire army on the death stack. We can push forward. This army right here is trying to get away. Not today, Ottomans. I think we're going to catch them. Yeah, actually, we're going to catch them. Let's do a little maneuver like that. Send our reinforcements like that. We don't even need them. We stack wipe. We need to send an army to go all the way around again. It's the only way. We don't have a navy in the Mediterranean. You gotta be kidding me. He spawned Particulists. Another battle using Death Stack. And I think we're gonna wipe with it. Yep. We wiped using Death Stack again. Oh man. These Ottomans, they don't want to give up. They're actually putting quite a fight. I think we're going to still win this battle. It's going to be really close. Yep. There it goes. But we did siege down Constantinople. The war is coming to an end. This battle right here should seal the deal. We'll be able to cross as soon as we siege down Coachelli. There we go. Force march. Force march. There we go. And now we can finally end the war. Snaking really disgustingly, if you ask me. But before we do that, uh, we're just going to need to declare war on these guys real quick. Imperialism. There we go. Yes. We can even call in our ally Spain. We are quickly interrupting the video for me to show you this graph. Look at it. Now we can go back to the video. Uh, much more relaxing war compared to our last one. I'll just put that on the side. Ah, uh, yes. Peace in our time. What the hell? When did this happen? We finally finished China, ending the mandate. We're still looking very close. We're going to cut it really, 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 really close, I feel like. We're going to finally release a nation. Let's see. Uh, where are you? Nejd. we release these guys. Well, this is completely unintentional. So we didn't become revolutionary because the revolution hasn't spawned, but we now become a republic. <laughs> Losing our government reform, our amazing feudal theocracy. Um, well, this sucks. We sadly lost our extra missionary, um, which is really unfortunate, actually. Um, it's an emperor thing before emperor if you spawned revolutionaries you could become revolutionary before quote the revolution spawns but uh because i did that um before the revolution actually spawned i just became an ordinary republic instead of a revolutionary republic which is what i wanted um meanwhile spain is a couple hundred years ahead and they're right now a military junta um, which means that I won't be able to world conquest anymore. We lost a lot of bonuses, um, and also uh, my full government tree is not finished. I'm not, uh, I don't have 100 absolutism anymore. I had like 115, now I'm like down to like 83. And yeah, I just feel sad actually that I messed up. <laughs> Well, I guess there's only one more thing to do, and uh, that's to declare war on the Ottomans. Um, and um, if you look closely, Russia is giving us the thumbs up to, g to do it. So I'll take that as a sign and declare the war. Dude, the, the Ottomans are no match for us. 
coming in for the Ottomans. Even with the river crossing, our morale is just too high. See how our navy fares against the Venetian navy. We can hold here. We should be good. Oh God! Ah, we finally got Cyprus. Uh, time to try to get our men off there, that island. Hopefully, the 70 boats from here don't move. They're not moving, right? Okay, they're not moving. They're not moving. We're good. We're good. We're good. Operation Land on Roads. We just need to land on roads now. Come on, boys. Don't let me down. Please don't tell me there's ramparts. There isn't, and it's only a level two castle, which is amazing. Oh, we should probably give these guys a general. I didn't do that. <laughs> Pepeg. It's okay, we're sieging down Portugal. We have troops in Portugal. All right, all right. Now we can engage these boats here, these straggler boats. These boats are still not moving. Okay, they, they just moved. They just moved four boats. They just moved four boats. Get out of here. What's, are these guys down for what, white piece or, or, or money? We're economic hegemon right now. Which means everyone hates us. But hey, at least we're rich. And we can take roads, which we will do. We take roads. Then we can take these islands from from Venice this this and some gold is there any other islands that we can take no so I have a feeling that when this truce is over with Ottomans in seven years we're gonna have to truce bake immediately after since we still have still have this and this left and keep in mind that we have 50 absolutism <laughs> I've now triggered a presidential a dictatorship by electing the same guy a bunch of times in a row. And um, I did this solely for the reason that it gives you m more morale. And now we're looking at 10.74 morale, total morale. The time has come for what could be the final Persian Ottoman War. Oh my god, actually, that's so many Turks. 
Where, where are they coming from? Where are you guys getting all these dudes from? Again, we're just going to employ the same strategy as before. Well, actually, we could even... Mm, never mind. That's 271 ships from the Ottoman side. I don't want to fight that. We're on top of Constantinople. I can feel it. It's almost ours. The red apple. Dang, now we're rocking 12 morale. Oh my god, 12 morale. Wait... How is that possible? 12.21 morale. The siege of Constantinople is done. We can flood into the European side. Let's go, boys. Oh, God. Where did this 100,000 come from? Dude, this always happens with Ottomans, man. They could be freaking 50 developments. Suddenly, they pull out 100,000 men. From the Hagia Sophia or something. I think we should be good though. These guys are running in. My boys with the 12 morale are holding up. They held up. They did it. And just like that, we can hit our demands. And I thought we had to truce break. But it turns out we don't have to truce break, guys. We got all the provinces we need. All we need to do now is just core them up, which. Oh my god, I have no admin. While I'm coring on 5 speed, uh, I'd like you guys to check out my Swedish Persia. That's also mostly Shia. I also like to mention that we still uh, are switching dynasties. We're now the Zand dynasty. Honestly, my favorite out of all the dynasties we've been so far. Boom, just like that, we got the achievement. This is Persia. Yes, this is Persia. Very good, very good. And just a little bit extra. Just a little bit extra. <laughs> I'll be honest, we could have we could have got a world conquest. I just got super lazy once it reached like 1730. Even till now there's 22 years left. We could keep blobbing, but I don't think I will. I think I'm done with this game. Uh, it was really cool though. We started as a one province miner. We started as Ardabil. Ardabil. Uh, and we uh, we conquered, we blobbed. That's essentially what we did. We we blobbed. We started as Ardabil. We formed Persia. We got that achievement, the Shah Shahin Shah Shahin Shah. Frick! I can't say it, but it doesn't matter. Um, we went with the tactic of basically blobbing before going for the achievement. But you don't have to do this to go for this is Persia. You could just fight the Ottomans pretty early on. You're pretty powerful with the amount of morale. I did keep morale stacking until the end and I had like 12.7 morale in the very end, which was pretty in insane. But yeah, it was. Uh, but before that, there is two complaints I have with Persia. The first complaint is there's no core cost reduction ideas or missions or any route for you staying as Persia to get core cost reduction unless you go Coptic. Uh, besides ad admin ideas and absolutism which sucks because core cost reduction not only reduces the cost but also the time so spending two three years to do a core hurts way more when you know you can stack a bunch of core cost reduction on other countries and do it in like a year the other thing is it's not as stable as other countries there's no ideas no missions again that relate to stability you have to build them through um, the national idea sets but um, that being said, I think they're an incredibly powerful formable for multiplayer games. Since as you guys saw in the late game, you have insane morale. Um, you can just keep stacking, keep stacking morale and um, you can be up there with contenders like France um, uh, with, in terms of morale, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I, I really like my Shia Sweden. Uh, that's probably my favorite part about this campaign. As well as my Shia China. Shia China. Shia, Shia China. Say that 10 times fast. Anyways, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the campaign. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.